We get many requests from people wanting to know how to accurately drill and install a through the door disconnect. A through the door disconnect is made up of a disconnect, a shaft, and a handle. There will also be some other accessory items such as O-rings. Please make sure you use those to help keep the environmental rating of the enclosure. And if you're lucky, yours will also include a template such as this one, so you only need to determine the center position of the shaft through the enclosure. First, mount the disconnect in the position that works best for your control panel, such as we have done here. And make sure you are far enough in the edges and the latches so there isn't any interference issues on the handle. Next, you will need a crosshair laser level, such as this one. If yours has the automatic laser level adjustment, make sure it's locked so it doesn't try to adjust it because we're not actually worried about whether it's level or not. On the metal enclosure, it's a little easier because it does have magnets on it that will stick to the side of the enclosure. But we're going to do one in a fiberglass enclosure just to show that it can be done. Next, install the shaft into your enclosure. But don't tighten the set screws because we're going to take it right back out. Line the laser level up so that you can see the beam in the center of the top and the bottom of the shaft. Then without moving the laser level, remove the shaft and close your panel up. Now you see you have a line going across that tells you exactly where that center position is. We'll make a mark there. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other axis. Install the shaft. Line it up so that you can see it's in the center at the top and the bottom of the shaft. Remove it. And you see we have it lined up this way, and there is the center of our shaft. Now double check it with a tape measure. While this method works 100% of the time, it's better safe than sorry. Now we're going to install the template to tell us where to drill the rest of the holes. And what I do is I extend the measurements over so they end up with a decent line to line this up on. And then just place it on here. And now we have our spots. And voila, we have a centered shaft. But we're not quite done yet. On your installation instructions, you'll see that this shaft should protrude beyond the panel a certain amount. In our case, it's three quarters of an inch. So we want to measure this, and we're at seven and a half inches, minus our three quarter inch. So we need to cut this shaft six and three quarter so that it'll protrude out. Now when you're doing this, we, we're cutting off the back side of the shaft. This isn't the right length. This, that just told us how much we needed to cut off of it. So from the back side of the shaft, measure six and three quarter. Be right back. Now we stick our shaft back in. And voila, we're three quarters of an inch sticking out. So we're ready to install our handle. Again, remember to install the O-ring on the back of the handle as it does help the environmental rating of it. And put it on. Now we're ready to install the shaft. And everyone's a little different, but in this case, there's a set screw right here. We'll simply tighten it down. There you go.